Would it be okay if we just have a couple of, of questions, just a, uh, just a, just a couple uh, of Good questions? Luck. for Turns out the media got more access to the British Prime Minister than our own president. Boris Johnson happy to take questions from British reporters, but Biden refusing to call on any U.S. press again. And then the press was shouted down and shouted out of the room. Here now, Mercedes Schlapp, ACU founder, senior fellow, former White House Strategic Communications Director. Uh, Mercedes, great to see you. Uh, can you blame Biden's you. handlers or Biden himself from not wanting to say anything to the press in front of Boris Johnson? Look, Dagan, I think there's so much nervousness that surrounds this White House comms team. They're very concerned, it seems to me, about what President Biden will say. Uh, you know, they like to have a very scripted president. And let me tell you, it worked during the campaign. During the election, they could hide him in a basement. He didn't have to answer a lot of questions. But now, as president, it's a different ball game. You have these reporters coming in. They want answers. I think there's a huge frustration coming out of the White House press pool, uh, as we have seen as they filed this complaint, uh, being mm -hmm. pulled out of these events and not being able to ask any questions, especially during a bilateral meeting, which usually in a case like this, you would actually have a press conference with your counterpart uh, from another country to be able to talk about the big issues that are impacting both countries. And that doesn't seem to be uh, the way yeah. the White House comms team is driving uh, this uh, narrative. Yeah, let me give, let's go through a list of the things that the Biden communications team and Biden himself wouldn't want to come up in front of Boris Johnson, or at least be asked about from, um, by the press. France, Afghanistan, the horrible UN speech, the border, the economy, vaccine mandates, approval ratings, Biden's handling of COVID in general. We don't have much time left in the show, but I'll stop at that. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, you know, I think that it, for President Biden, that when you look at his daily schedule, it is just shocking. He might have one to two events a day. Uh, you know, I remember during the pre presidency, during Donald Trump, we, he, the president was active day till night. He would answer as many press questions as he could. Yes, was it a hostile environment between the press and, and the liberal press and Donald Trump? Absolutely. But you did get answers. You knew exactly what the president was thinking. You knew, knew what his vision was for this country, how he was solving complicated problems. This is not the case. This is the most scripted presidency I have seen in my lifetime. And they know, and his staff knows, that allowing President Biden to speak uh, really makes it makes a very uh, difficult situation for President Biden because he always puts his foot in his mouth and quite frankly he is not right. capable of answering the tough questions he leaves it up to his press secretary to do that job right the nation looks like an exploding septic tank because of this president he's got nothing to say about it I want to get your quick response to this mercy a republican candidate for nevada's lieutenant governor was seen on camera being aggressively thrown out of a local government meeting in las vegas where a committee vote declared the spread of COVID 19 misinformation a public health threat what do you make of this look i think we're entering into a very dangerous realm when we can't have a calming discussion over questions that Americans have regarding uh, whether it be vaccine mandates, whether it be mask mandates, we should be allowed in this country to have these serious discussions, to ask the tough questions. When the, you have the CDC and several others calling it quote unquote misinformation, especially these local governments that are not even health officials, that's setting a very dangerous precedent moving forward. Mercedes Schlapp, great to see you. Thank you so much for being great here. Great to see you too.